After 40 years of traveling through the darkness of space, and more particularly our solar system, the humble Voyager 2 probe has finally lost contact with Earth, and it sent one last signal before a NASA announced that we would finally no longer be picking up connections anymore. The Voyager mission started in the late 1970s, and their main goal was to send evidence of humanity's existence out into space and maybe hopefully stand as a record for some intergalactic species of aliens to finally come pick it up and understand who exactly we were in the future. Voyager 2, although it was the second one launched from Earth, was the farthest one that we currently have sent out into space. But despite its seemingly long journey all the way up to this point right now, it has only begun its most lonely and longest part of its soon-to-come journey, and that is through the thousands of years most likely that it will be traveling through the endless expanse of the void of space, without humans being able to ever contact it or see it in any way again. However, there may be some hope of us finally being able to send commands to Voyager once again, once we're able to repair the main and only telescope that's capable of contacting it. This telescope is the Giant Dish, located in Australia, and it's roughly the size of a 40-story office building. And it's the only telescope that's able to communicate with Voyager that's over 14 billion miles away. But since the equipment that's used in this telescope is so outdated, we have to go and basically scrap the whole thing and build an even better version of it in order to ever have hopes of contacting Voyager 2 ever again. The problem with this is it's very unlikely for all of this to be successful and for us to inevitably, after all of this maintenance to this telescope, still be able to contact the lonely and long lost probe. So the chances are pretty high that this will simply be the last time we'll ever be able to communicate with it. But it is guaranteed that at the very least for the next 11 months, there will be a total blackout of communication between us here on Earth and the Voyager probe that's this far away, and pretty much exiting the solar system as we speak right now. Which pretty much means that along with it, us no longer to have data being sent back about the outer reaches of our solar system, we won't be able to track exactly where it is even on a public level anymore, which will be kind of sad. But alas, of course, the main goal for this one probe was of course to go out into the great unknown and be able to be alone for the majority of its life, not having any contact with any of its creators, and simply to serve as a relic untouched by nothing but time itself, and basically to sail the open nothingness of space until the end of time. And while the probe will continue to send signals back to Earth whether we're receiving it or not, we won't be able to send communications and commands to make the probe do any specific action to, for example, keep the antenna that sends the signals pointed continually towards Earth. So it's pretty much probable that eventually, after a while, it will cease to do so. 